Hi, beauties and curls. Welcome back. It is Melissa Q. Melissa. Oh, I came in with an accent today. You are at the right place. If you hadn't hit the subscribe button, I'll just ask you ahead of time because you're going to have a good time anyway. I'm just believing by faith you're going to have a good time. So I can wait. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I, well, I hope you love it, but if you are positive, if you are good, if you want to have some laughs, yes. If you want to know some information, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're an OG, thanks so much for hanging around, sticking with a sister. Yes, you know how to roll. Okay, high five, pound, chest pump. Anyway, let's get straight into this video. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, our current favorites. Now, I try to come every three months to give you guys what I have been loving because sometimes they don't get into the favorites, the monthly favorites, because it's kind of like um, a conglomerate of a couple of different things. And I just want to bring y'all what I have been loving. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Let's start off with hair like we usually do. I have been loving like these three products nonstop for sure. And this is the it got a spot on it y'all i don't even want to show it to y'all this is the bell nouveau creamy castor custard deep conditioning treatment this is amazing i have not done a review on it i just need to do a review as a matter of fact before i finish this video uh after i finish this video i will do a review on this but this is so so good if you are trying to grow your hair you need castor oil if you and it's protein free so if you are protein sensitive this is a great deep conditioner it is a bit pricey but it's worth the money i feel like and then this is the oil with pudding it's rich dense base moisture cream it does contain castor oil and y'all know i'm on growth challenge so um i gotta get my my life my hair life back together i'm bunning today it is windy outside I'm not putting my hair through that stress. So this is really great for moisturizing and sealing at the same time. It is super duper thick. If you have thick hair, if you have, if you have thick hair, your hair is gonna love this. But I really do enjoy this. It smells like chocolate. It smells like white chocolate. I think I got some on. So it's like white chocolate, but it I'm almost done with this and it is great. I love this. And this is the original Moxie Twist Mist. I'm almost done with this, but this is a lightweight shine with evening primrose and coconut oil. So if you don't like coconut oil, you're probably not going to like this, but it's prone for dry hair. It gives my hair some extra shine. I really do like it. So those three are three in terms of hair. Let's move on to body products now in my empties video you are going to see now the reason why you're seeing these as full bottles is because i got i got through the other ones so in my empties video that i actually did today my hair was different i think i had a wardrobe change but i'm i'm getting through these because what i got some peace today yes and i'm trying to get through videos but this is the shower oil and this is the supple skin oil. These are phenomenal. These are OGs for me. Um, they're not only my current favorites, but I was introduced to these a couple of months ago and I have been using these nonstop. Now, it, these are pricey, but let me tell you something. If you are spy at home, I'm one of those if I can't go out and or if I don't feel like going out, like I don't go to the salon, so I invest in my hair products. I don't go to the spa as much, so I invest in my body products. And I feel it really feel like these are like they make your skin feel like like silk. Okay. And let me just get real for a second. If somebody else is touching you, if you are, you know, I have a husband, okay? So if somebody else is touching me, I won't it to be silky smooth okay i want to be so fresh and so clean clean i mean i was like that when you know i was single but you know i just i just like indulging can i can a girl just indulge i don't have to justify why i like this although you know my husband says i just smell good but you know uh yeah I love those and those are some body products that I am loving. I have another body product that I have been loving, y'all. I was not on the train of the Soul de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream until some people say boom boom. Okay, boom bum. Okay, so if you didn't like me saying bum bum and you don't like me saying bum boom boom or however I say boom bum. Okay, I just, I just compromised the situation. I got the trio and I gave one as a like a Christmas gift but this smells so good this when I wear this I don't have to wear perfume and to me it, 
I'm on the train now. Yes. So I have another one of these. These are the two ounces and a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot. So it's worth the hype. Yes. I just feel like I would get this on sale. I'm not paying $45 for a body cream. I don't know. That's just how I feel with this one. It's funny because I will pay for L'Occitane, but I don't know about, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get it on sale. That's the same thing for the L'Occitane though. There are certain L'Occitane products I will pay full price for, but some things I am going to wait for the sale. I'm just saying, and this is one of them, but I love it. Moving on to skincare. Y'all know I'm always going to have some skincare in here. I did enter, I did uh, do the Charlotte the Crew, and I really like that system. I feel like it's firming, but y'all, this other system... I'm about to talk to y'all. It's on another level. I'm about skincare systems, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that, but I am about a skincare system. And there are a couple of favorites in the skincare system that I know I am loving. Let me show y'all. I did post a picture on Instagram, but I have been loving this. I've been using this a couple of uh, weeks, but these are current favorites because I can see, and when I can see results, I'm like, say what? Say what, girlfriend? Say what? Y'all have been talking about my under eye and I really do believe it's for two reasons. And it's for two different eye creams. This is a V Maracuja C Brightener Eye Cream. And I don't think necessarily it was the Loxy, the, no, the, the Charlotte Le Creux because that one, it just firms. This one brightens. And I know I have been seeing my under eye brighten a lot. And I, I wanna say it's definitely, definitely this because I use this at night. And the kind of thing that I have been doing is I put on my oil first. Let me show you the oil that I have been loving. I love face oils. I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I love face oils. I have been loving this L'Occitane face oil. And I also have the Fresh Sea Berry. I have a little small one that I just finished, I think. I think I'm done with that. I might have a little bit left. But I like to put my oil on all over my face and actually dab a little bit under the eye. And then I put them on my eye cream. It is so good, especially when you're going to sleep. Only do that at night before you go to sleep. Okay. And um, that's if you want to do it. If you feel like it's, uh, you know, it's unsafe. However, don't, you know, don't feel pressured that I'm telling you what to do. But that I can tell that the eye cream penetrates even it sinks down into the skin and I can tell the difference the next day I'm just saying but anyway I love this this is the L'Occitane Immortal Divine this is their cleansing balm y'all this is so so good like when I say it melts off all the makeup it does and then it leaves a little residue uh it doesn't leave residue I'm sorry it leaves like a milky finish on your skin when you are like with warm water when you're rinsing it off it turns into a milky cleanser and it rinses off and y'all I almost forget to use the cleanser which the cleanser is really really good too I love these two and the face oil I just love this whole system They're like I, I'm I, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit more about this but this is a system it's a bomb that I saw a difference in I'll, I will leave a link of my Instagram post down below but these have been amazing and I can tell the difference with L'Occitane skincare and I y'all know I'm a fan of the comfort cream that's an OG for me that's a great day cream but this is on another level and my skin can tell and I can tell in my skin y'all been saying it too so don't say I don't notice y'all been telling me okay the next thing I have been loving is this Jouer lip essential enhancer this is a conditioning treatment i love using this let me tell you if you are having crackly lips after um before putting on your liquid lipstick i highly recommend putting this just a dab on before your liquid lipstick i have on a li liquid lipstick today this is the always on lipstick by smashbox and y'all i feel like i have a lipstick on seriously it is so comfortable i love it so yeah that's what i have been loving in terms of lip products in terms of skincare i have to talk about this i don't know if i've talked about this in a favorites video but definitely i see a difference with my sunday riley sleeping night oil i love this i feel like uh this is definitely going to be this staying in my skincare regimen i feel like that this is one of those products that even if you are in another skincare system that you can incorporate this and you, it won't hurt you 
You know what I mean? So I really do like this. I I do feel like if you are in your 30s and above, putting a retinol in your regimen is not going to hurt you. It's actually like preventative skincare and it's a great anti-aging type of product. So I love the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. Um, I don't want to leave anything out. Let's move on to makeup because I have a lot of makeup favorites, current favorites. So let me move on to that. Oh, one more skincare favorite. This is the Derma E. Derma E has been killing it. I love their glycolic toner. Let me see if I can get it. Yes. Hold on. Uh, Derma E has been killing it. This is the Radiance Toner. This is so good. I don't know if you can see how much I've gotten through this, but this smells so good. I thought the Pixie Glow Tonic was going to be my hands down favorite of all time, like glycolic toner. This is a glycolic toner with Robo Ro Robios, but it's a Radiance Toner as well. And uh, this is six ounces. Let's see how much you get in here. Let's see. You get 8.5. So you do get more product in this one. So, I mean, these are both good. I have a little bit more in that. Okay, Glow Tonic. But this one, I really, really do, do love a lot. And I use that during the day. At night, though, I have been using this hydrating night cream when I don't want to put on a face mask. And I want something really hydrating, especially for the winter. If you live in dry climates, this is a great, great night cream. And Derma E is so, like, it's drugstore, but it's high, to me, it's high-end drugstore. It's bougie's drugstore, okay? And a little bit goes a long way just because of how thick it is. But if you have dry skin, if you, even if you don't have dry skin, but you live in a dry climate and you want to use this at night and your face is feeling a bit tight, this is something that if, I feel like immediately when it hits the face, it just goes straight into moisturization. And this is like a face mask in a bottle. Now let's move on to makeup. I, my skin really, really likes CoverGirl foundations. These are two. I talked about this in the uh, review that I did with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. And I really do love this foundation. Like I love this more than the Pro Glow. And that says a lot. Okay. I like the Pro Glow, but I love this. So this is hands down one of my favorite but this is a perfect match for my skin and this is the covergirl queen all day flawless three in one foundation and it is in the shade sand i am in soft honey and the vitalist elixir i love both of these though i they are super hydrating i feel like that this one lasts all day and let me tell you what the test of these because i am currently trying to do a foundation declutter i'm gonna tell you what i love about both of these the test of if I would love a product is if it lasts all day, if it's hydrating, and if it does not give me craziness around my nose because I am oily just right here and I'm normal pretty much everywhere else except in the winter months I do around my cheeks and around my mouth I get dry. And right in here I get a little bit of tightness. So I definitely, you know, this eradicates it, but these are all day. If I could choose from one of the between one of these, it would definitely be the curl queen. Just curl queen, the cover girl queen. I feel like because this does definitely last all day. This has some lasting power. This one, both of them have SPF 20. Now let me tell you about something that I found out about both of these. Are you ready? In both of these, I found out that um I wanted to get the Chanel Sublimage foundation so, so badly. Like that is a $135 foundation. And I was like, <coughs> you know, some things make you cough and choke. That one made me cough and choke. $135, $135. Now I will pay some money for a base product, but $135 for that Sublimage, it was pretty, pretty good. But after I used the sublimaged, uh, sublimaged, because I used it for a couple of days, I got a sample, I used it for a couple of days, and I was like, this reminds me of something. Then I was like, okay, so let me do some research because that when I when it reminds me of something, I want to get the backstory of where the company, who had who holds the brand, where does it derive? And guess who holds the Chanel and the CoverGirl? the same brand Cody owns I think it's called Cody International owns both Chanel and CoverGirl so I was like y'all this is sublimage just from the drugstore I'm telling you it is 
is so similar that uh, at least on my skin I don't know if anybody else observed that let me know down in the comments if you have realized that but this reminds me so much of the sublimage if you love the sublimage you're probably gonna like this if you don't want to buy the sublimage anymore I highly recommend you trying these and tell me what you think but these were like the sublimage so similar that I just say $135 fist pump Wakanda forever chest pump okay I'm just saying but I'm really happy about that this illuminizing moisture tint by Jouer is hands down one of the things that I'm going to always buy it is so great it makes the skin look so so beautiful I love it I love it I love it and yes I will constantly repurchase that because it is great for every day the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't want this to be a foundation video, but I have been trying a lot of foundations, y'all. This one is going to stay in my rotation just because I love the tone. I feel like that Giorgio Armani, now I know that L'Oreal owns both of them, but in terms of undertones, in terms of olive skin tone, this one just is so, so good. It looks so beautiful on the skin and it does last. It to me is a hydrating that lasts a little bit longer than most hydrating um, foundation so I really do enjoy this but the one that took the cake and it's not only a, a current favorites but it is a favorite of all time It's something that I'm going to constantly buy is the sunset skin foundation by Veil cosmetics I found a diamond in the rough especially with these complexion fix y'all and the skin fix now the skin the sunset skin primer I'm gonna have to buy the full price the full bottle because I only had the samples but these are OGs but I had to mention these I know I, get, I went through a lot of compact plexion products so excuse me I'm so sorry for showing you guys so many things but I have been going through complexion products like crazy okay like crazy this is another cover girl I'm telling y'all if you want to look for any dupes of Chanel products look into the CoverGirl line because this reminds me so much of the Chanel Soleil de Chanel that I wanted to get that bronzer but it was too much of my skin tone it was like exactly my skin tone so I could probably use it as a foundation but definitely not a bronzer well this is a contour that I use as a bronzer and I promise you I kind of get the same look from it like to the point where it's so similar that I would not pay 50 something 60 something dollars for that product this is the cover girl contour palette this is the medium one and I hit pan on the con this is how much I've been loving it like it is so so good so I highly recommend if you don't want to pay money for that product go over into the cover girl line and see if they have something similar to any Chanel products that you want to look at and I'm not trying to go cheap I'm just trying to go smart Yes, I said it because I don't mind paying money for great products, but if I can find them at the drugstore and it's by the same brand, hello. And I know the magic, I mean, I know the Lumi foundation is a dupe to the Luminous Silk because the ingredients are so similar. But one of the things I will say is that number one, I get a discount on Giorgio Armani. So that's the first thing. If I didn't, I probably would just stick with Lumi and just go ahead and mix two foundations. The other thing is that they have my perfect undertone, my, my perfect shade, and I tend to have to mix two foundations. And I just rather go with a luxury one that's just my skin tone, that just has everything that I want and everything that I need, rather than just pulling two. Now, two, I still have not got, you know, it's only half of that cost. But two of those is actually how much I get in my discount with Giorgio Armani. So I'm good. Thank you. Yes, this I love. Super Shock Shadows. Try to say that 18 times. Yes. But this is in a maze. This is in Cricut. I did talk about this in project uh, products that I hit pan on. These are so beautiful. And um, I'll swatch them for you. But a maze. This is a maze. It's a beautiful like peachy champagne color. Cricut is like a brown purplish shade. That's super creamy. It's still creamy. Y'all super pigmented. Whenever I wear this on my lid, I get compliments of like my eye look. And currently I am using the shade Posey. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. This is from the My Little Pony. I love this. Um, I did not know that I was going to love Super Shock Shadows as much as I have. But it's a functional type of product where like I put this on as a topper over my eyeshadow. And look how 
it just made it look like I put more effort into my look, which I really didn't. I'm really loving this. This is posy. And this is to me more of a topper. This is not, I mean, you could use it by itself, but it's more like a topper. And that is posy. And it has like iridescent sparkles, but I love this. I love this shade so, so much. And it's from the My Little Pony. I'm telling you, these remind me, I'm going to tell you, I was about to get some Chanel cream eyeshadows and then I started looking at the Super Shock shadows and I was like, you know what? A lot of these shadows look like the Chanel shadows that I was going to get, the cream pots. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. And the Charlotte Tilbury. I was going to try some of those. CT, I'm just going to have to wait because sister girl is on a no buy. So I just got to improvise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, before we go to palettes, let me show y'all this. I have been loving, 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 loving in a project pan. This is the Too Faced Love Flush pa uh, Blush in the shade Baby Love. This is like my favorite. Um, if I don't know what to do, if I have a cool tone or a warm tone look and I don't know where to go to, this is my favorite right now. And I have talked about this. I talked about this in my January favorites, but this definitely has become one of my favorite palettes to use all over my face of all time and this is the hourglass ambient palette i absolutely love that it's making me reconsider if i want to go back to my crystal pressed under eye powder from nars the crystal uh, the crystallized powder y'all know what i'm talking about i'm considering it i'm not sure i'm, I'm on the fence but this is still something great for all over my face I'm not sure, but under my eyes though, because sometimes it can get a little bit too iridescent than I want and it can look ashy because it's not my f my favorite. Maybe I need a different shade. Maybe I need a different shade. We'll check that out. I think I need one with more yellow. So if you know an ambient powder with more yellow in it, definitely let me know. House of Lashes Lash Glue. I am hooked. I love this because it turns blue, at least mine does. It turns blue and lets me know when it's dry and it does not take forever like Duo. So amen, Ken Church, amen. <sighs> Danessa Myricks, I'm gonna have to try some more of her stuff. I love this Prism FX Hydrating Lotion. It is so bomb. I love this. This is by Danessa Myricks. This is the Prism S FX Hydrating Lotion. It is like strobe cream to the fifth power so it is so amazing i love how iridescent and how glowy it is under foundation and even if you have oily skin and you want a radiant finish i think that this would diffuse through the makeup and give you a great finish also this is from artist couture glamour you did your thing you did your thing with this okay let me just give y'all a little taste of this okay do I have on, uh, I don't think, oh, I don't think, now I know I'm wearing a cold, cool tone look, but La Peach is going on the cheeks today, okay? I want to show you guys this in action. And this is something that actually Angel taught. Uh, that's Angel Moreno, uh, back daddy. He, I know he showed this years ago of like spraying. He actually was one of the first people that I know of that did this and was like you put it on you put your you know your primer spray on or whatever i use smashbox primer water and then you take this and i'm just gonna put on a little bit but do y'all see that oh glam mom you did your thing yes 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 let the church say yes do y'all see that? I mean, it it's like, La Peach is like a peach, a gold. Like, I feel like that this is, it really is a universal, um, like I can use this with a warm or a cool tone look. More so a warm tone, but like I have a cool tone look and it's still like, it's kicking. You know, it's still slamming. It's still smashing it, okay? It's still making me beat face all the day long, even though I have, like, a little contrast. But I like it. I like it. I love La Peach. And I'm ser so serious. I could say this. If all of my highlighters went away, La Peach would still stand still. And I ain't saying that because she's my glam mom. And it's just, this is a doggone good, y'all. If you are a woman of color, Y'all gonna be mad 
when it runs out. I'm just saying, don't be mad when it runs out because this is good. If there is any other, like if there was a makeup product that I could tell you, I could use this as an eyeshadow, slay it. I could, let me stop talking about it. Let me just stop because this, uh, this is gonna this is gonna last me a long time, but this really makes me want to get. There's only a few things in this lifetime that I actually want to get backups of, and this is one of them. I had to give those two shout outs because those have been phenomenal. But I do want to give a shout out to this palette too. This is the Tardiest Pro Glow. I feel like that this is so underrated. Um, I like the fact that it has a mirror because a lot of times I will use the mirror, and it has actually two mirrors. And you can set it up. I actually use the halfway mirror. and But these are so good. These are so soft. Um, I had to repress. What is that? Lit. Stunner. Fire. Strobe. I didn't think I would have to use. I would use strobe. But I feel like I really do like this. Um, for deeper skin tones. This may come across a little bit ashy. This side. But this side these two right here but you know then again I don't know if it would be worth your time or your money to get just a palette with two highlighters when it six when four comes in here and then this cream uh, contour is pretty good and I use this as a bronzer but like I said if you are deeper than me I don't know if this is going to be worth it for you just because two products would you work for you rather than the majority of the palette so but if you are my shade if you're beige, if you're medium, if you are fair skinned, you're going to, I, I, I suggest that you just swatch it, try it, apply it to the skin. It looks like blah on in the palette, but on the skin, it looks like fire. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Another Tarte product. This palette I love. This is the Tardis Pro palette. I did not get the Tardis, uh, the Tarte, the Tarte in Bloom, the Tardius in Bloom, the Tarte in Bloom. Y'all know the in Bloom palette. Okay, I did not get the toasted palette. I feel like that this is a conglomeration of all of them, a combination of all of them. So I got this and I'm really, really pleased. I love how smooth it is. I love how most of them are matte. If you want to do some little transformations, this is really all that you need or this is all that I need. Um, you're all I need to get by. I'm talking about the Tardius. And... Two palettes that blew me away, but more one than the other. <sighs> Juvia's Place. I really like the Masquerade palette, but I am sold on the Nubian 2. I love this palette to the bone, okay? I do have a makeup look coming uh, with this if it if I haven't posted it already. But I use I used Nefertiti Cleopatra. That blue, though. That blue. This blue is amazing. Nefertiti. I used uh, Morocco, Madagascar. This is like one of my favorite shadows right now. Yeah, ColourPop has a shadow called Paper Tiger that's similar to that, but I love these two shadow shadows. I love Kenya, but these are so amazing. I love Sheba. I used Yad before. Um, I've almost used every shade in this palette. I have a few more to go, but I love, 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 love this palette, and it's bomb for me. Um, that's all I can think of. I know that I am missing something, but those are the ones that come to mind. And I just like to be organic when I have been using stuff nonstop. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. yes. No, no, no. I am. I'm so like missing the mark with these. Okay. Minted cosmetics. Y'all, y'all better get on the bandwagon with minted. Okay. Their lipsticks are so bomb and these lip glosses are fire fire i'm telling you fire da -dum -dum. Mm -mm. i'm just coming up with songs hold on now these are so good and their lipsticks one of my favorite i'm gonna tell you right now this is how i know when stuff is really good for me nude la la and pretty in pink are one of my favorites my minted number five i gotta get a nude lipstick because i don't know that one went missing i think somebody got my lipstick i don't know where that is but minted number five is bomb okay it is like the perfect like neutral like cool tone nude so good foxy brown these are so so beautiful if you're a woman of color just if you just love lipsticks if you are having an issue with nars being not being cruelty free anymore and you want some you're like man i miss those nars audacious lipsticks i'm telling you you are missing out if you don't have these and um i'm just saying 
I know a lot of people are switching over to cruelty free. These are not only cruelty free, but these are vegan. And so I really do appreciate these. this. Um, these have been so bomb. I've talked about these in favorites videos before, but these are current favorites. They have lasted where I keep going back and back for these. I am going to come with my favorite lip glosses and my favorite nudes and these will be in it. So I'm just saying so. Yes. So those are all my favorites. Let me know. I know I did a lot of hair, skin, and beauty. Let me know if you want some non-beauty, like random favorites, like in terms of fashion, accessories. If you want to see some of the other favorites that I have, definitely comment down below and let me know. Say, holla girl. Yes, we want to see. We want to know what you love, okay? Let me know what you are loving. Like not just loving for the month, but you are really, really loving. Comment down below. Let me know what that is as well. I'll see you guys until the next video. Bye, loveys.